Hello, it's Dr. Gay from First Look at Mariah. This is an 18-year-old male who fell down some stairs a little bit under two weeks ago. He's had continued pain and he went to his orthopedic surgeon and they wanted to get an MRI. They thought he had a, maybe a fracture of his talus. And we see here on this sagittal view, we see the tibia up high, the leg bone coming down. It ends here, it has this cupped appearance. And then underneath it, we have the talus. This is called the talar dome. This is the ankle joint. And on this view, everything should be dark. Marrow is dark on this. You can see subcutaneous fat is dark. Muscles are dark. And marrow is dark. This is a fat suppressed sequence. So all the fatty marrow is suppressed. And anything that is bright is abnormal. So we see this brightness in the talus. Not the talar dome, but the anterior inferior talus. is prominent brightness down here. So we know there's a bone injury, a fracture or contusion. We see a little bit of fluid in the back here some edema in the soft tissues, but really this is the main finding. So he's got a prominent injury of the bone. I don't see any displacement, but definitely a prominent contusion or a non-displaced fracture with trabecular microfracture there. And when we see marrow edema in the anterior inferior corner, I always look for something called the spurling ligament. There's some bones here, the navicular bone here, and the calcaneus back here. And between, we should see a little band which is, looks like a hammock, a broad ligament. And it holds up the talus here, and it's called the spring ligament. And when we see this wavy appearance like this, rather than a nice straight band holding up the talus, we think there may be a tear of the spring ligament. And again, it's a broad ligament, and a lot of times not the whole thing is torn, just a little piece of it or a little component of it is torn. So this looks like in the central portion, this uh, fluid signal and the contour irregularity looks like a tear of the spring ligament. And again, when I see the marrow edema here in the anterior inferior corner, often I'll find a tear of the spring ligament here. And also we're gonna look at something called the sinus tarsi. So the sinus tarsi is over here, this area. It's between the talus and calcaneus, looks like a little ovoid cup. And in here we have some uh, ligaments. And let's see, go, we're gonna go very superficial here. Now we're off on the outside, more lateral. And we can see this band here. This is called the inferior extensor retinaculum. There's a retinaculum that goes over this tendon here, the, the extensor tendons. And it comes down here. It's a thin band and it flattens out here, but there's a little part of the um, extensor uh, tendon sheath. Now if we go deep into the sinus tarsi, we'll see a component of the anterior sinus tarsi. Right in this region, we should see something called the cervical ligament. It's in the front, and this is the neck area here, so it's like cervical. That's where I get the word from. And instead of being well-defined, it's very often very hard to see this, but um, in this case, it looks foggy, not well-defined, so it looks like they have an injury or sprain of the cervical ligament. I just don't see a nice clean, I don't see any clean bands of ligament. And so there's one more component, which is in the back here. This is called the talocalcaneal interosseous ligaments. So this is the talus, calcaneus, and we should see a ligament going across right here. Again, sometimes it's not well defined, but in this case we see fluid right there where we should see that ligament. So it looks like they have a complete tear of that talocalcaneal interosseous ligament. If we go off laterally, laterally, we see a little thing over here, and that may be part of that talocalcaneal, talocalcaneal interosseous ligament, and also a little cortical avulsion maybe of the bone. You can see the bone coming down here and looping back up. We can see the cortex is a black line. When we get along the bottom, we don't see the cortex. And then we see the cortex over here, this black line. So it looks like they have a little cortical chip right where that, uh, uh, the anterior corner and then maybe an associated tear that talococcanally interosseous ligament. So um, this sinus tarsi has edema in it as well. And we have a little bit of fluid in the ankle joint. So just to recap here, here's some rare ligament injuries. We have a tear of the spring ligament that forms a saddle down here. And we have this other thing over here, this little dark band, which is a cortical chip fracture along the in anterior inferior corner. And that looks like it may be associated with a torn talococcanally interosseous ligament that we should see coming here. We just don't see it. And we also see this fog over here, which is a sprain of the cervical ligaments, so kind of a complex ankle injury.